All right, Ashton, Manitou Moose training camp continue to roll along here. But before we get into that, let's just talk about your time uh, with the Winnipeg Jets earlier at the training camp with them. Uh, just tell me how that went for you and what you learned about the, uh, your game up there. Yeah, it was good. Another good experience. Um, I've just been to quite a few of them now, so it's good. Every year you learn something new about yourself. It's always good to, you know, get in there and see what you, uh, you need to work on or just see yourself against really good competition. Um, there's a lot of drills that you do in training camp that, Give yourself a pretty good idea of where you're at. Um, for me personally, like defending against a you know a really high skilled player. So um, so yeah, it was good. It's a good experience. Uh, excited to get going here. And then even before that, you were a UFA, obviously, and decided to come back and resign with Winnipeg. What went into that decision to come back here as well? Uh, well, I mean, first of all, I just I really enjoyed it. Um, had a great time last year. Um, loved the city. Loved the organization. Um, you know, coming in last year, just a, it was a new new place for me after seven years with one place. So um, so I. Wasn't really sure what to expect coming in, but uh, you know, got a good opportunity with the coaches. Um, really enjoy the staff here. Um, the group of guys are great too, so it uh, you know it was a pretty easy decision. But when you look back on that team last year compared to this year, a lot of turnover, obviously as as usual in the AHL. But it feels like a really young squad this year too. As a guy who has that experience previously with Vancouver and Abbotsford, are you going to try and maybe help mentor some of these younger guys and lead by example? Just sort of what's the plan with some of these really young yeah. guys who are trying to learn the pro game? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, every year, um, you know, that I continue to play, I think that's something that you know, I take pride in. Um, you know, I think the coaching staff wants to see that too. Um, like you said, we got some new guys coming in and. It's good to have youth um, come into your organization like that. So I think um, you know having guys like myself and Tony and Jimmy, some older guys like that, um, you know, to help the younger guys develop and um, you know try our best to show them the right way, and and uh, hopefully they they get better from it. And what can you say about the competitiveness of camp too? Obviously the inter squad game today, but even before then, it seems like a lot of intense battle drills, really high intensity throughout the entire camp so far too. I mean, does that just sort of set the tone for what's to come for the rest of the year with guys battling for jobs pretty much all over the roster? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's um, you know if you think about it now, it's some of us have been here for almost a month yeah. doing camp with the Jets and now the Moose, so it's been a, it's been a long grind. But um, no, you're exactly right. I think it's important for us to you know get our feet going and. You know, get into those battles and stuff because in the summer you don't really do that. So it's important to to do that and get your body prepared for for the first uh, game of the season, which is next weekend already. So it's uh, it's coming up quick, but uh, we're all excited to get going.